Hello everyone. I suppose by now you must be familiar with the resistors and on what factors does the resistance of a resistor depend. You must be curious to understand about the combination of resistors and how do we use these combinations in any electrical circuit. Now we can use the combination of resistor in two ways. We can connect them either in series or in parallel. Now in series connection, all the resistors are connected end to end. That means that one end of the first resistor is connected to the second and the other end of the second resistor is connected to the third and so on. And finally, the first end of the first resistor and the other end of the last resistor are connected to the terminals of the battery. Now if we take out the parallel combination, in parallel combination, the ends of all the resistors are tied together and then these ends are connected to positive and negative terminal of the battery. Now there is a difference between series combination of resistors and parallel combination of resistors. To understand this difference between series and parallel combination of resistors, let us have a look at a story. Let's assume that you and your three friends have to go from one city to another. Let's say from city A to city B. And all of you have your individual cars and there are four roads that are connecting between A and B. These roads are connected in series or end-to-end -end fashion. These are connected like 1, 2, 3 and 4. Now when you will start from end A and you have to reach end B, how will you proceed? All the four cars have to travel the road 1, road 2, road 3 and road 4 to reach city B as you don't have any other options. So you will find out that in this case, all the four cars have to cross the road 1, road 2, road 3 and road 4 to reach the city B. Now let's have one more case. Let's think that the roads are not connected in serial fashion. Let's say that the ends of all the roads are connected between city A and city B. Or we can say that these are connected in parallel fashion. So now if you have not decided that which road to take, it may be possible that when you start from end A, you all four end up in taking different roads and finally you will meet up at city B. Now in this case you all will reach city B but some may reach earlier and some may reach later but ultimately you will reach city B. Now the similar thing happens when the current reaches the combination of resistors having some resistances. Now if we consider the electron as the car and the resistors are the roads between A and B. Then if we think that resistors are connected in series as was in a first case, then we'll find out that the electrons will cross the resistor 1, resistor 2, resistor 3 and resistor 4 to reach the point B. So in this case, we can say that the current which is flowing through all the resistor in series is same. Now if we consider the second case in which the roads were connected in parallel or we can say that when roads were connected with their ends between A and B. Now in this case when the resistors are connected in parallel between A and B then the electrons have the option to either go through path 1 or path 2 or path 3 or path 4 as was in the case of cars. Now in this case we can say that the total current divides when the resistances are in parallel. So we can conclude that when the resistors are in series then the current flowing through all of them is same. But in the case when the resistors are in parallel we can say that the total current divides in all the parallel resistors. Now what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit? when the resistor are connected in series or in parallel or a combination of series and parallel is there. So in the next videos we'll be learning about individual series connection and individual parallel connection. Then we'll look that how do we find the equivalent resistance when the resistors are in series or parallel or a combination of series and parallel is there.